Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today we'll be taking a closer look at some of the social aspects of SharePoint 2013, specifically speaking, the newsfeed section. The newsfeed section is more like your social hub into everything you need to know about people, documents, sites, hashtags, or everything else you want to follow. It's new in SharePoint 2013, allows you to basically post short messages, microblogs, to the newsfeed stream just like you would on a social network you'd go plug in your update and everyone else sees it very similar to that and it also works more like uh, Twitter as well where you can do an at mention of someone or a hashtag of someone so it's a combination of all these different applications obviously the goal here is to facilitate internal communication and collaboration within uh, the SharePoint interface so we'll take a look at some of those aspects. Um, I'll log in as two users. The first user will go in. I'll show you how we can post a message, how you reply to a message, how you like a message. How do you go in initially and configure your settings as far as what you want others to see and not see, just like your security settings and things like that. And then we'll log in as another user and see how we can mention each other and how we can uh, and how the information appears on uh, on the other end of whoever is writing the post or whoever is providing that mention. So here I am on a SharePoint 2013 site and obviously the first time you're gonna click on things it's the kinda like my site it's gonna generate and it's gonna create that information and it tells you upfront that uh, we're almost done we're gonna be working on this it's creating all your news feeds uh, blogs about me all these sections and as it does so it gives you the ability to change your profile and change the settings as well as upload your picture so uh, again here I am as, as Corey I'm gonna first of all show you the uh, about me section again this is kind of like what you get a link to as the site is, pro is being provisioned or as that information is being provisioned you can go to edit your profile basic information about your profile some information here you cannot change and then contact information Here's my contact information, and then some details, post projects I worked on, skills, schools, birthdays, inter interests, and the most important piece here would be the news feed settings. So I can come in here and say, these are the followed hashtags, and who can see this? Email notifications. So when do I want to receive emails? When someone replies to conversations that I reply to, maybe that's not something of interest. When I go in and I follow Gazwan, is uh, John going to be able to see this? So there's a lot of settings in here as far as what you can and cannot uh, enable and then obviously you save this information and you're good to go. Once you're done with this, and obviously you can always come back to this, uh, then I'm going to go to my newsfeed section. Under my newsfeed section uh, I can write a post uh, I am sharing this with everyone. This everyone is actually a hyperlink and you can change this to whatever group you want to share this with and say this is my uh, video post. Hope you like this. Hope you find this helpful and go ahead and post this. I've, I can put a picture, attach a picture in here but we'll go ahead and post this and then uh, so this goes into my uh, kind of my news feed this is my feed uh, all the sites that I'm following all the people I'm following all the documents I'm following all the hashtags I'm following are gonna appear in here any changes to them will also appear in here so if I wanna say uh, follow a site let's go ahead and do that here's a site I can come in here and click on follow and now that goes into my news feed the fact that I just followed a site notice there was a number one something new and then within that site if there's a document I can come in here and say oh and this is of interest to me I'd really like to see what happens to this document and that's gonna also appear to us in here eventually it will appear under your uh, news feed so here's procedures.rtf and now we're following that as well if I wanna mention individuals like here Gazwan wrote something I'm gonna click on his name and mention him so I'll say Gazwan this is uh, super helpful thanks for sharing thanks for SharePoint thanks for sharing and then go ahead and post this information as well so uh, I showed you how we post uh, how we 
I didn't show you how we reply. I'm going to log in as a different individual and reply and like. I showed you how we make the changes. So let's now log in as Gazwan and see what Gazwan sees on the other end. Okay, so we're going to change user to Gazwan. And here's Gazwan on the other end. There's a mention and there's a following. Let's take a look at the following. So here's the following. And then there's a mention. And it tells us here that Corey said this is super helpful. Thanks for sharing. Just like Twitter works, except here again, this is information. Thanks for sharing because we, we obviously will make better decisions and, and collaborate much better when this information is on SharePoint. I can come in here as well and go to the following section and say, I, I really like, or let's go to the everyone because it doesn't make sense for me to reply and like my stuff, although you can. But uh, got, uh, Corey said this, so I can like this, and now it shows under uh, something I like. And I can come back and unlike this if this was an accident. I can follow Corey if I'm not following Corey in here. So it'll be one more individual that I'm following in here. And I can put a reply and say thanks, for example. And put that in here as well. So this is how you like. This is how you reply. Uh, this is how you unlike things as well. Uh, there's always three dotted lines as well to do more things. Uh, specifically speaking around activities and likes so if I want to see all my likes I can do that in here if I want to go to activities and see all my activities and kind of sort by conversations show the entire conversations or maybe I want to delete this I don't want this to, 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 to see this anymore or hide it I can I can obviously uh, do that in here so these are uh, th this is the kind of stuff I just kind of wanted to go through I think it's super helpful it kind of uh, puts a lot of the different features that we find a lot of social networks and it puts them all in one obviously the goal here is to facilitate internal communication and collaboration and I think this is going to become uh, a, a super helpful weapon uh, for us to drive information more and more into SharePoint hopefully this was helpful thanks for taking the time to view this